What's up, Sparks fans? Rashawn Haylock here with, you know who this is, Lexi Brown. Of course, hanging out here in Dallas. AU season is here, Athletes Unlimited. Lexi, we're going to talk a little hoop in a little bit. But uh, you, what I'm doing, you spent a lot of off-season doing yes. as well. Was When you were in college, was that sort of the goal to kind of get into broadcasting? No, it actually wasn't, surprisingly. I knew I wanted to be in the media space. You know, I was like, maybe I could be like an actor or like... I always want to be on reality TV. So, I mean, I guess sports analyst is like reality TV, but sports. So kind of mixed it, met in the middle. But after being on a team with Cheney, actually in Connecticut after my rookie season and seeing that it's something that you could do simultaneously while playing basketball, I was like, oh, maybe that's something I want to do and went for it. There is no greater reality TV than sports. Yes. We, we all know <laughs> that. Uh, you broke your own news mm -hmm. this offseason with the contract extension with the Sparks. Uh, how cool was that? How important was that to you as well? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, I didn't even think – I thought of it, like, kind of randomly. It wasn't something that I was, like, pondering and thinking about. I got the contract in my email, and I was like, hmm, I should announce this on the podcast, and I think that would be really cool. No one has ever done it before. Um, and just to have the reaction of, you know, my co-hosts and, and, the, and the producers and everyone that helps out on the podcast, you know, they were all so happy for me. Um, and then being able to just collab with that, with the Sparks, like it was just something that was really important to me and it was a really special moment. What is your favorite thing about being in this space? Is it the hostings? Is it the studio stuff? I mean, you do you do it you do it all, Lex. You do a yeah. little bit of everything. Um, honestly, it's getting my makeup done. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things, but no, I mean, the podcast space, I mean, I've been able to be in studio with ESPN and then in the podcast with, you know, Underdog and Gills Arena, but I just love being on the podcast. It's so much more laid back. I can wear what I want. We just be chopping it up. I mean, it's very conversational, which is something I love. And, I, you know, I just love talking about basketball and random things and making jokes. And I love that about the podcast space. I grew up basketball family, obviously your pops, the great D Brown. At what point did you know your dad was D Brown? Like, I mean, he's always your dad, right? But mm -hmm. to a lot of us, he's, you know, Mr. Yeah. Right? Like, at what point did that register to you? I mean, he did have the slam dunk trophy displayed in our house. <laughs> so when I was old enough to register what the big gold Gatorade trophy was, that's when I knew. And I, that was at a very young age. And then every year on All-Star Weekend, you know, NBA TV reruns all the dunk contests. And he always is like, yeah, look at me. Da, 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 da. And then you saw this past slam dunk contest. There was an attempt at the no look. So everyone was like, Lexi, what y'all think about that? And Mr. D. Brown was not impressed, but flattered. <laughs> <laughs> that's heavy i'm not going to touch that <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot to unpack there you're talking about the entire all-star weekend um but that's for you uh you you're going to have a larger uh, more expanded role uh with the sparks coming up this year how what are you looking forward to as it relates to that and how how excited are you for that yeah, I'm really excited to just take on this leadership role. I think this is a very similar situation to when I was at Duke, when I arrived to Duke. Um, you know, it was me and Rebecca Greenwell, you know, two of the older players, and we had a really loaded um, freshman class that came in. So, you know, it was the two of us and then the baby. So, you know, I made a joke on Twitter and called us the Baby Sparks with the Baby Shark song. And I'm like, that's pretty much what we're going to be this year. Um, and I just think I thrive in leadership positions. We have a really good core group of other veterans as well. But, you know, finally having um, a solidified spot um, makes all the difference for me as far as being comfortable and just being able to play my game. What's your leadership style? Um, my leadership style has evolved over the years. You know, when I was a little bit younger, it was a lot of um, yelling and no. getting upset. Yeah. Um, as I've gotten older, I've learned to sit back and observe for a little bit, figure out everybody's communication style, and try to communicate with every player in the way that they like to be communicated with. And then I'm the one who can get yelled at all the time and then hopefully relay that to the group um, and then also lead by example. I mean, I'm always going to try and be the hardest working player on any team I'm on. I don't know that I've ever seen you yell. I've seen you get frustrated at times. Don't okay. know that I've ever seen you yell. Oh, no, no, you used to be bad. You can ask some of my former teammates when I was younger. The evolution, the evolution of Lexi Brown yeah. <laughs> and the baby Sparks do 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 coming to an arena near you this summer. Okay, a bar. <laughs> okay, rap. I, 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 I do what I can. Right. I do what I can. Baby 
appreciate the <laughs> appreciate the time, Lex. Of course. <laughs>